Uh, take one. Uh, so, uh, hello. Nice meeting you. Um, I guess as I'll just start. Um, I'll be doing uh, Christianity and anime or a biblical perspective in Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy. And here's the overview. We have a lot to cover, but so I'm, gosh, I really, I really like doing, I really like condensing my vi videos to trying to do 20, 15, 20 minutes. But I guess it's all right. It's uh, 25 episodes. Um, but yeah, like, uh, what should we do first? Uh, I'll just go over the list. Um, so I did not label the episode numbers because I didn't feel like doing it in the beginning because I thought I'll just remember and yeah, like um, I have a I have a confession to make that uh, I wasn't planning on doing this because there was just uh. I, I really wanted to enjoy myself in the anime, but just seeing in God's work through the anime, I like uh, I just it was so much that I'm like, uh, if I don't share it, I'm not preaching, and I'm not sharing the good news and the truth of the Lord, and yeah, that's not that's not that's something I don't I I, I really don't want to do. Because I believe anything through God, from God, is the truth. And the truth is love. And the love needs to be shared. So, um, if you're watching this, uh, I really I really appreciate you. Because I know, like, if I, if I, if I can just teach one person, I, I really don't care what happens. But just this one person that needs to hear this. And it. You know, I'm hoping you stick with me here. But if not, that's fine. You can, you know, we have free will. It doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then it, it's it's like, I know I'm getting off topic here, but I might as well because the video is going to be long either way. Like, I just wish that, uh, yeah, it's a wish, not really a prayer. But it's like a wish... I just wish that, like, ah, uh, and it just disappeared in my head. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, like, I wish, because my last video in Kaiju number eight, number, no eight, number eight, I did a Christianity video on that, and then I, I watched it, and then I have to, like, make another video because I missed something so important. So I'm thinking like, gosh, this is going to be a long video. But if I rewatch it, that's another time sink. And then if I have something missing, I have to make another video on that. And I just, I just don't want to do that. So I'm going to pray to the Lord. Lord, I know I don't pray a lot. But for this video and f for your word, Please, for for your for your love, please for the love of you. Guide my words. Protect my mind. Make this video about you, my lord. Because I, you know me. I do not want to do this. If you can take this cup from me, then go ahead. Because I just want to enjoy myself in anime. I don't want to think about anything else. But if it I think about you, Lord. You're the only one I think about. So if it comes, if your message comes through this anime and no one else doesn't want to share it, I will share it. <sighs> I pray that this is. I just please don't make me work too hard, Lord. I don't mind working hard, but it's just so annoying. So, in your beautiful name of your Son Jesus. Here we go. So, first point. 
isekais, if you think about it, in general, if you notice most of our entertainment, it's focused on Earth. Like, our base home is Earth. I hate, like... You know, you can do space, but that's also derived from our world. In fact, almost everything related to entertainment and creativity is based on some reality based on this world and this universe. So therefore, if you think about it, all isekais are created are derived from God because they're from a God. All things are created and all things are known to God. And the only way we know that is when God created that world for us. And because we know this world only, and because we know from our creator that they created this world, then this world can is mostly expanded upon because we base our own creativity on one truth, which is this world. And this world belongs to God. So therefore, any isekai, if you think about it, like isekais all follow the format. Like, if you think about it, all isekais worlds, they have a sky, they have enemies, they have humans, they have robots, they have s- monsters, they have imaginary beings. And yet, they all relate to some form of humanoid form or a form of our world that, in our atmosphere. And if you think about it, it's just crazy to think because that base, that standard base is all related to all all of the worlds created and nothing is new under the lord so if you think about it everything comes from one god because that god created everything and that everything exists for god and god created us for this world and to be praising him because he's the only one that matters Uh, so that's the first point and I love I love um, Makoto. So Makoto is the main character, I think. And uh, I love I don't know what episode it is, but he supports. He's he's really committed to the one man one mo- one one woman bleh. one man one woman like uh, monogamy or monogamy, monogamous or one marriage, I guess, like one partner. And uh, let's see, there are Bible verses about that. Um, I might as well research. Um, but yeah, so like Bible verses. Let's try. Let's actually Bible verses about one 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 partner. Uh, uh let's see. One man and one man. Yeah. Let's try, let's see. Therefore, uh, Genesis 2, 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Um, he answered Matthew, one flesh. Uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. Temptation to sexual immorality. Each man should have his own wife, and each woman her own husband. And if you read the Old Testament, like... Normally, like, uh, it wasn't really standard to have a one man and uh, one woman. So, you know, if you're thinking about uh, harems and all that, it's it's nothing new. Like, uh, all all things God has uh, foretold. So, but through through his wisdom, he established a law that only one man, one woman, together in marriage as one, is the best outcome. So if you think about harems and all that, uh, I'm praying for you. I really hope you get over your sexual li- lust, your sexual immorality, sexual sin. But I pray for that. But I know that God, it's up to God. It's up to you and God to sort that out. So I'm literally praying for, I'm just hoping. I'm not really praying. But there's that. So we get the, we get, we get the idea, right? So there's that. Uh, another thing about the anime is having uh, uh, what I love about the anime is that Makoto has like he he can't do everything on his own. He and and probably majority of the time he relies on his uh, his uh, subordinates or comrades. And uh, it's also true in the life of Christianity that it's really wise to have wise counsel. <laughs> Again, wise counsel. We can search a Bible verse from that. Wise counsel. 
Yeah, I'm sorry that I don't remember the verses. Like I said, I I've only finished the Bible. I think this year, but my walk with God has been pr for three years, so I can't remember the Bible verses. I do re I do know the general concept and uh, like categories, but I do not remember the um, exact wording. Um, I'm trying to remember the chapters, but I just need more practice, I guess. And praise God. Um, maybe uh, I pray that God that you continue in my faith. And more than anything, is uh, I really wish that uh, I remember your, I get more into your word and uh, read more deeply and remember your, I guess, remember your chapters. I mean, like even if the Bible was gone, I'm I'm pretty I like I know God will still come will be true. Um yeah, so let's see. Rotodo is there any yeah, Proverbs I guess twenty four. Um there's multiple I, I might as well do uh I don't want I don't wanna select a single verse. We can go over multiple I mean I don't wanna single out one translation. Um I'll just, I'll do different translations. I have no idea the history of the translations. Hopefully, uh, um, yeah, 24-6. Uh, let's see. So there's this one. You should wage war well with sound guidance. Victory comes with many counselors. Um, for, let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just in general, it's nice to have... Uh, wise christians wise christian a wise christian or uh christian family in general to um share ideas but never forget that you have the almighty creator looking after you so before you consult with others the, make sure you consult with your creator and master first but that's uh just me that's just logic um let's see i wish yeah her oh it is nice um so is this the same website i used yeah and listen to his voice, Proverbs, where there is no guidance, the people fall, but in abundance of confidence, ESV. So they're using the ESV. I guess I might as well USV. I like their format. They have a lot of relations. Um, Timothy, Timothy, that we may lead peaceful. Wow, yeah. This is actually a really nice... Uh, I'm glad I found this website. It's nice. Um, what does the Bible say about And They use ESV, which is actually interesting because I started the Bible with ESV, but I transferred to NLT. Um, I, I plan on mastering the NLT translation first, but after that, if I can get the core, if I can get the core base for that, I can transfer out to different um, um, languages. And I think, I think like, um, I think, so this is my just hypothesis. It might be a theory, but this might, I think, uh, it might be a hypothesis or a theory. So now that I'm thinking about it, like, um, my, uh, my method of mastering one language to learn other languages can be related to learning languages in general. So if you want to learn another language, try mastering your own language first. And by that, by getting you the technicalities of one language, you'll be able to apply and relate to that deep knowledge to other languages. And hopefully that will expound and growth and accumulate. So most likely. So yeah, that's just that. I'm just that's. I was just thinking about that. Um. Another thing is that the demi humans and I love how Makoto again the main character Makoto is um. He he makes a demi plane or like his uh kind of own like uh universe. And he, he he accepts different uh, monsters, I guess. Or, yeah, I think it's I don't really I don't think they call it monsters. More like like yeah, demi humans or something. But it's just um like um it's really great because in Christ, like it doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, purple. I can go through. I don't want to go through the proper term of races. I'll just go by color because it's easier to explain. Um, and I think that mess. I think by presenting like it this way, it it will be more bring more of an impact. Like, um, you know, I don't care if you call me brown or yellow. I don't care if you call me black. But I just know that 
in Christianity, in the culture, but I wouldn't say culture. I would like to say the family. The family of Christianity is accepting of all races, all ages, all differences, all forgiving of sin, and it just creates a one unified body in Christ, in, in God our Creator. So it's just, I just love how he, um, he gathers these different types of man people, and they all work together for one cause and for unifying and helping each other without, you know, discriminating and all that stuff. Um, and I think that's really what matters in Christ, that, uh, again, we practice, we practice love your neighbor as yourself. But f the first greatest commandment is love your God and Creator. But, you know, if you... Um, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, those are the two greatest commandments. Um, I focus those uh, mostly because you can't go wrong with those. Um, there are also the Ten Commandments, but that can all derive from those two. But that's, uh, again, truth is love. And <clears throat> But remember... The only true love is God. And if you do not know God, you do not true, know true love because your love is limited by your own limited human love perspective, not from the love of God. So I really, um, the best way to know God and know true love is to read his Bible, to read his word. And his word is alive and is still living to this day and forevermore until the end of days. But uh, that's it. So, next point, what is this? One, two, three, so five. Um, treating others as friends. Uh, yeah, so um, there was an episode in uh, one of the, with Makoto again. Um, I forgot, like, um, like, uh, like, uh, there was a there was an interaction with Makoto where uh, he and some I forgot. Gosh, I wish I can remember. I don't really care about remembering the episode. I want to care about the character. But I remember Makoto was uh, in many points in throughout the anime. Makoto is freely like he treats others as like true friends and true friends to me. Well, not to me, but true friends. By the grace and the love of God, from the love thy neighbor, is that for the gifts that you bestow upon people, you do not expect anything in return, because a gift is a gift, and a gift is free, with no strings attached. So, I really think what Makoto does in helping others, and then when the other, when the recipient asks, "Oh, what do I need to do in return?" and then nothing, it's just I just want to help a friend. I just want to help you. And uh, this can relate back to God's truth, because he he gives the gift of salvation, and he gives the gift of love, and the gift of faith, and everything is good for for your own for your own benefit and to help you, but. You don't have to do anything in return. All you have to do is primarily have faith and repent, or repent and then have faith. They both go hand in hand. But uh, you have to realize that, uh, and if you're a Christian, you you know this already. So I don't know why you're watching. Like, uh, yeah, like this is the this is off topic, but I I really I really have a hard time determining my target audience, whether it's Christians or non Christians. Um, so I don't really know. It's up to God to determine who this message goes out to you because you're watching, you're still watching. So thank you again. But it really, if you're still watching, I already don't care. Like, uh, you know, I really wish, uh, I'm going off topic again, but I really wish YouTube can sort out the, because I watch my videos on my own channel and for some reason YouTube counts that as a view. Like, I don't really care about the numbers, but it's kind of embarrassing to me because I look at my videos and I realize how much I keep watching it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, YouTube, really? Why? Why are you counting me as a view? I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want in fake numbers. Like one view is one view. I, yeah, it's probably hard. I'm not a coder or a programmer. I don't know the ins and outs. But yeah, so, um, 
love that I made where don't think of anything in return when you give a gift. Don't think about uh, status and all that. Uh, basic logic, basic truth and love in God. Um, another thing, so we're on point, we're on, what is this, point one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I just had a, you know, I'm just thinking about the, how long this is, and then I'm probably going to have to put chapters, because I know chapters make it a good experience for people, and more people will be custom to the word of the Lord because of the chapters, instead of just one long video with no guidelines, and oh my gosh, it's just... Ah, uh, yeah. I I just wish. I I wish, but I'm not praying. I I just wish. So another good thing, there was a teaching arc in the anime where Makoto is the teacher, and he's a great teacher. And this is really relates to God because um, a teacher, like you re you respect teacher like respect teachers for. Improving you. Don't respect teachers about their personality. Don't like, oh, are they catering? Are they easy? Like teachers, best the best teachers, the best coaches, the best mentors, they want you to improve, but in uh in uh in context of your present ability, but they still want to see like they don't put impossible standards, they put manageable standards that are just a little out of reach. And I think um great teachers impart great wisdom and by that great wisdom you grow and this relates to god because our god is the best teacher and the god and our god is like yes yeah, the best teacher i mean what else can i say i mean yeah he's just the best teacher he wants the best for you he wants you to grow as a person as a human being um he wants you to lead and teach others to serve others um yeah, so, and then because of that teacher, because you're growing, you have, you can teach others. So it's a ripple effect. And the, and if you get your teaching from our one true Lord, and you have other wise uh, Christians um, that help you, then, gosh, it's, uh, um, a lot of thoughts are going in my head right now. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot bring, I wish I can, oh, I, so off topic, like, I can't wait for Elon Musk, uh, Neuralink, I, because he, he made a good point that talking is, uh, it's so limited. It's so, the data transfer rate is so small. Like, oh my gosh. Like, even, and it, if you look at the Bible, the the second best thing is uh, having one language. But I won't get into the details of that. But just know that God is number one. God is what matters. Everything else is for the glory of God. And be thankful. But there's that. Um, gosh, I feel like I'm gonna have to add something for that. But I, I'm, 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 I wish I don't have to. So anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the best wife. This is personal. I really love this. This is, If I had to pick one section, I really love the relationships in anime that show in Christ's love. Because, like, the best waifu material in uh, in this anime um, that shows Christ's, like, uh, qualities is uh where is she i hope she's here yeah hibiki hibiki is so good i mean like she cares about other people like she mourns other people's death and she just uh like um she's just a great like like servant i guess like a leader and a servant at the same time like it's so good like uh actually i'm like i was I, I was kind of disappointed in the anime that they kind of reduced her clothing to more, I guess, like, sexual appeal. I think she really looks nice in modest clothes. But, you know, I like, I wish I can show you, um, she she demonstrates her her very caring personality, or very caring character throughout the series. Like, even in the beginning, she is really nice to um, the main character, Makoto. And Makoto also knows this. And I'm just so glad that they were able to uh, get together. I mean, not 
like get together but they actually like they have kind of like a sort of random encounter with each other even though she doesn't really know like they they're connected but not connected i hope i hope they become a thing in the future i know tamo and mio like the makoto servants i mean not servants i mean uh comrades or subordinates are like really want to get you know really want to kind of have love for makoto but it's i just think it would, i think in the, the anime direction if they had to pick like a one 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 man one woman i think hibiki and makoto would be great because i think because they're both from the same world they're both humans they're both heroes and i don't know i just i just think it's pretty good but yeah so if you're looking for a waifu here i think uh, hibiki is pretty great but yeah, I was just so surprised about her caring character. I was like, wow. That that is someone that y- you can rely on. You can and it's just amazing. And uh let's see, like uh Yeah, where is um I guess I can yeah, so I might as well I'm gonna lost track because of, yeah, so I did all this. I'm gonna format and text and then strike through that. And then I'm going to jump to this. Yeah, so another thing about uh, Makoto before she transferred to the Isekai is that, or another world, if, uh, <clears throat> if, uh, yeah. But uh, the, before she transferred to another world because she, like, she was bored. She, she was so great at, like, everything. She had it, she had, her life was, like, smooth sailing. And yet, she, when she when she transferred she had to go through she actually had to work for something and i think if you're having a smooth life right now like if you're thinking everything is going too great if uh you know there's nothing to strive for like try striving for god like god will use you and your talents and your your visions um he won't fulfill your visions he'll fulfill his visions for you but if if you find that life is too easy, try, like, pray to God. Pray pray and have faith that God will challenge you in some way. And in general, trying to, try, if you have that determination to try and be the best, try looking after Jesus himself. Because I guarantee you, nothing you'll do, nothing you'll achieve will ever be great as Jesus. And that's just a fact. Like, like I'm not trying to say you're you're worth nothing, which you kind of are, but you're worth something to the greatest master, and that is enough. But it's just, you know, I. This is a personal story. I might as well share a, a little bit of my personal life. Um, I don't really mind sharing at all. So, like. You know, I I lived uh I lived most of my childhood and uh, my teens in uh, thinking that I had to conform to the reality of other people and their personalities. But after knowing Jesus and knowing His character and knowing that, uh, like, like my personality, like my character, is uniquely crafted for God's purpose. And because of that, if I ever find myself, like, trying to dim down my type of, like, my whole being just so that I can get along with others, then I would rather die. Like, I, and that's it. Because I, I've experienced the, the new side, the, the over the fence. I've seen the how great the sky is over the fence. And I just know that no matter my personality, I can be true to myself because the only one that matters is God, not trying to conform to this sinful world, but trying to conform to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the master of everything. Therefore, yeah, I can, I can never be great as Christ. I can never be great as the prophets. I can never be great as the others. But I know that I'm enough and I'm great by myself because I have the Lord with me and because the Lord knows me and because the Lord knows I'm unique and the Lord will and, uh, pretty much like, yeah. So that's it. Again, 
I like I really hate doing this. Like I'm so I'm like I'm sorry, Lord. I I don't want to do this. To be honest, I just want to enjoy myself. I just want to keep your knowledge, I guess, or I don't even know what you call this. I I'm not wishing to remove this, but it's just so so hard for me, Lord. Like I know, like I I I know my. I used to watch anime just for fun, but after knowing you, Lord, I see your greatness in pretty much everything. And I just have to share it because I think this message is important. And your truth is important. Your love is important. And I hope I will sacrifice everything. You know, you know, people think that, uh, you know, it, Heaven is awesome, and I, I agree with the Lord that heaven will be awesome and just beyond anything that we'll ever see. It will be truly a blessing to this world and to this universe. But honestly, God, like, I'm sharing this for you also. You're watching me. It's embarrassing, but, you know, I I don't know if this is biblical, but, like, if I, if I, even if... God isn't real, but I know God is real. It's it's really like it's just the truth that God is real. But like, it, I I don't I'm not I don't I'm not really motivated by heaven, Lord. Like, I mean, even if you were to wipe me off the existence of everything, I would still be happy because you're the only love that truly matters. And as long as you exist, Lord, which I know you do. Then I will gladly give up my existence for you, Lord. And uh, it's just amazing. Like, I will even sacrifice myself for hell if that means one unbeliever can go to your glorious heaven. And that's, I guess, one of my personal, personal things. Like, uh... Of course, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'd rather, I'd rather experience this and help you, and maybe understand the, just how the power of the Lord is. You might be thinking I'm crazy, but like I said, you're just proving my point that uh, you may think I'm crazy, but I'm crazy for the Lord, and that's all that matters because He's the only one that knows. So that's for free. <laughs> Don't even know what you call this type of feeling. It's not even funny anymore. So yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Um. So I'll strike through that. Oh. So yeah. Spider turning a new leaf. There's some. There's one moment in the episode. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sorry. Uh, emotions are getting the better of me. Oh yeah. So anyways. Ah. Uh. Gosh, I hope the mic microphone microphone is okay. Uh, okay, get back track. God damn it. Ah, okay, anyways. Yeah, so the spider. And by spider, I mean uh, Makoto, the main character, is one of subordinates. Uh, Mio. Mio is actually a spider. But before she turned into a um, subordinate of Makoto, she was actually pretty terrible. Like, she will rampage. She will, she will not care at all. But there was a moment where she meets the hero the waifu hibiki and then she 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 um in long story short she 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 meets the spirit wolf of the for he for hibiki the main or the main waifu but uh she even says that uh, oh i i uh i it seems we've met before and uh like uh light like turned the new leaf so please, like, well, she didn't say please, but uh, that's how I interpret it. Like, uh, like she, she turned a new leaf, and um, that's not the only thing. Like, um, there, there were the sisters, the sisters that Makoto healed. Like, they, they also turned a new leaf because they were saved, and that's one of the things that we as Christians we we value that uh, we're not perfect. We're not like. How do I explain this? I really, I really hate trying to translate this. Like, as Christians, we know that, like, nothing we did 
deserves God's love. Like we were in sin. Like, uh, like I guess I might as well. Uh, I'll uh, strike through that. Like I'll go into another tangent. Here we go again. Like right here, God's word is law. So like, by turning a new leaf, I mean like, you know, people say, oh, I'm at least I'm not a murderer. At least I don't steal. Uh, trust me. Like. Unless you have the God's word and God's truth and love and his holy laws in in you, like, you'll never know. I'm sorry. But because I know for a fact that I could have been a murderer, I could have been a rapist, I could have been a parent killer, I could have been a thief, I could have been greedy. And I don't mean by I could have, like, I know I will. Like, I would have been that in the future. Like... You know, there's the the Bible verse um, right here. Um, anger. Let's see. Uh, anger, murder. Let's see if she if this website will. Uh, yeah, Matthew. You have heard Matthew five twenty one dot verses twenty one. I mean Matthew chapter five verses twenty one to twenty two. You have heard that it was said to those of old. You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says, you fool, you'll be liable to the hell of fire. And it just shows that... Uh, oh, here's, here's another one. This is the one I was trying to incorporate. But Matthew is also... Um, yeah, like, uh, well, take that into heart. But also this one, First John 3.15. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Um, yeah, and then he, let's see. Uh, 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 Matthew again. Uh, Exodus, you shall not murder. Um, anger. Well, I don't. Is it the same? Like anger in your heart, in your heart, murder. Yeah. Um. Yeah. See Matthew five twenty one twenty three. Let's see this one. Uh, I'll do the NLT version. I'm really familiar with that one. Um. Right here. You have heard that our ancestors were told you must not murder. If you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. So, yeah. Like, you know, if, if you have anger in your heart towards your parents, anger towards anybody, you've committed murder. And that's the truth. And you might say, oh... His life wasn't taken away. It's the same thing. You know, lust is the same thing, even if you don't rape people. Um, I mean, sinful lust. Yeah. Actually, yeah, sinful lust. Um, I just have to put sinful to really emphasize the lust part. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, like I, I know I would have killed my parents. I know I would have murdered somebody. Um, I know I would have assassinated somebody. I know I would have ridiculed somebody. I know I call people stupid. Um, but the grace of God, like he, he really, he really, he really gave me the, uh, like God is so amazing that I can't really describe what he does to me. Like he does, I don't even know what to say. By the miraculous God, it's not even miracles. It's more like the blessing. Like, his, his, like his, his word, his word brought me out of what I was sinful in, and it's just so amazing. Um, let's see. So, uh, man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting sick. I'm actually. I started an 18 fast today. I've been doing that for a, a couple of weeks now. Um, it's so going well. I probably shouldn't do this when I'm emotionally charged and haven't eaten that much. It's fine. I'll survive. Um, greed and profit versus hell. Oh, yeah. So, this is what I love about the anime that Makoto is a merchant and he he does 
he does so he sells healing stuff for cheap. That's so amazing. Like it's so amazing that the old old the the old merchants were like this guy is so is not a merchant. Like he he is uh he's just naive, he's innocent. And that's what I love about God. Like now I have to go to another Bible verse. Jesus innocent children. Like um Mm. Uh, Matthew. Um, um. Wait, be like illness and children. Be like Jesus. Oh, hang on. Eighteen three. Uh, mm. uh, 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 yeah, Matthew eighteen. Um, Matthew eighteen. Uh, and again, I'll do the NLT. No, 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 no shade on the others. But uh, right here, so eighteen. About that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, "Who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven?" Je Jesus called a little child to him and put the child among them. Then he said, "I tell you the truth." Unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And I think that's really great because, you know, like, again, sorry, I'm trying to minimize my, you know, habit. But, uh, oh, I need to make sure I'm still recording. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm still recording. Thank, thank, thank God. Anyways, so... Makoto was really innocent in his merchant. I mean, he's not really a merchant, but he still wants to help people. And then one of his best ways was to start a merchant uh, merchant guild company thing, organization thing. And that's the thing that the 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 elder elder merchants they forgot their own spirit, their own foundation of why they wanted to become a merchant, and was that to help others and to do it in a way that was like helps others like truly helps others but they got into the realities of the world and they didn't have faith and they didn't believe that uh, they said you know what we have to lie we have to cheat we have to put ups we have to be superior to others we have to be greedy and that's what the being a merchant is about but no it's stated in just matthew 18 in which i just shared he said i tell you the truth unless you turn from your sins and become like little children and children, like, they have so much love. Like, um, be humble as the little child. And that's uh, one of the greatest things about children is that, um, like, like, you know, when you hate others, like, they were you. They were just like you. They, they grew up in school or they... I mean, by the grace of God, if they had the opportunity to go to school, some didn't even go to school. Some don't even have, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, some don't even have food every day or an abundance. And I just really think I'm, I'm really, I'm really grateful to, that God put me in America because I like, I feel like that my work in America will help others in other nations but i do not know how but i do believe i know the truth that god put me here for a reason that god put me in this country that god put me in this state of california for a reason and whether i don't know his purpose i don't care about his purpose i mean 
By that, I mean, I care about his purpose, but I don't need to know his purpose. He is the only one that needs to know everything. I just do what's my next steps from the Lord. And it's just amazing. But yeah, so again, greed and profit, you know, you know I, I can talk about my aspirations and dreams, but I'm not going to because like I said, it's between, I think it's most importantly between me and my talk with the Lord. But that's just uh, one of the things. Um, gosh, how, how long? 45 minutes, all right. Yeah, I knew this, this thing was going to be long. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, anyways. Well, I'm having fun. Are you having fun? <laughs> nah, so 45 minutes. Oh, gosh. It's getting late. Like, like, how's the rest of my camera? Yeah, it's been kind of dark. Anyways. Um, well, yeah, and then another part is that if you feel frustrated over taking advantage of, like, again, other people don't matter. Like, if you're being true, if you're being great, if you're being loving... Like if you get taken advantage of, leave it to the Lord. Don't don't harbor hate. Don't don't murder other people. Like just bring it to the Lord. Like your God is literally within you, right next to you. Well, until you until until you repent and require and then you be humble and require a savior. God is still with you. Like. God will help you even if you're sinful. Like he, I know He helped me even when I was sinful, and I, you know, I worship idols. I worship, yeah, I worship everything um, except Him, His truth. And you know, I, I don't know. Like it was just so, it's so interesting. So if you have any frustrations with people, like again, act in love, pray to God about it, like. Like, people saying, like, if you think, oh, I need to see to believe, you're contradicting God, you're being prideful because you think, I need to see to believe, you can't even see oxygen, and yet we all know it's there, we all know there's a creator, but we can't see him, but we know he's there, so therefore, he is here. He is alive. He is watching. He is with you. He loves you. He cares about you. He wants you to succeed. Ah. Yeah. Just amazing. So anyways. Oh gosh. What is this? Judges 7-2 Army? Oh yeah. Judges 7-2 Episode 20. Judges 7-2. Let's go to Judges 7-2. Let's see. Judges. Mm, oops. Uh, let's see. Uh, so yeah, Matthew New Testament. Let's see. What is Judges? Judges. 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 I think it was in the Old Testament. Yeah. Judges 7-2. Seven, 7-2. Two. Seven, two. Here. Uh Mm -mm. The armies of Midian were camped north of them in the valley of the hill of them. The Lord said to Gibbon, You have too many warriors with you. If I let all of you fight the Midianites, the Israelites will boast to me that they saved themselves by their own strength. Therefore, tell the people, whoever is timid or afraid may leave this mountain and go home. So 22,000 of them went home, leaving only 10,000 were willing to fight. But the Lord told Gideon, There are still too many. Bring them down to the spring, and I will test them to determine who will go with you and who will not. When Gideon took his warriors down to the water, the Lord said, Divide the men into two groups. In one group put all those who, who, who cup water in their heads and lap it up their tongues like dogs. In the other group put all those who kneel and drink with their mouths in the stream. Only 300 of the men drank from their hands. All the others got down on their knees and drank with their mouths in the stream. The Lord said to told God with these 300 men will rescue and give you victory over the midst and all the others home so Gideon collected the provisions of rams yeah so long story short you do not need a lot to fulfill God because God alone will fulfill you so yeah like um it's just, just amazing like um what was that yeah so Judges 7 2 the army episode 20 I actually put the episode so let's watch it Let's watch it together. Linear no old to Uruto, Guritomiano Teto Ruinas. 
魔族はこの2カ所に同時攻撃を仕掛けているようです見たものこれはマゾクとの戦。我ら悪の民にとっての飢え人となる。ハイランド王国ミステオリザード。若様直々のご指名じゃ。お主らが悪で鍛えた実力を発揮する日がついに訪れた。遠慮はいらぬ。
避難はどうだが響きを私のセロですいければ王人と失望かるか未来なき民間人を殺すのが軍人だというのこれは種族と種族の戦争だその終わりはどちら So here、uh, another God's truth So you know if humans are not your enemy like even hmm Yeah, humans are not your enemy. Like your fellow, your fellow human beings, your fellow people,、um, they're not your enemies. The, the only enemy you have is Satan. And Satan that、uh, has do dominion over, I guess, this material world.、Um, so there will be only one side. So it's either God will win or Satan will win. But if you know God, God will always win. So. It, you, like, you can have comfort in that, I guess. But it doesn't mean you just sit back and do nothing. Like,、uh, God will use you to fight Satan and to bring more people to, toward God. And then you might be like, but hey, man, if God can do it, why doesn't he do it himself? Like, God is doing it himself. Like, God is doing it, like, has been doing it. And he's been doing it, like, through us. Because he created us and he, 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 truly, he truly loves us and he truly knows that we, he, like, we are his greatest creation and his greatest creation, unfortunately, has to really sacrifice their lives. And yeah, it's just basic、uh, logic that、um, God will always win. But just remember that your, your enemy is not. People, it's Satan.、Um, yeah, so that's it. I, I, I won't,、uh, I don't think there's anything else to say for that. I mean, I pray. Yeah, I don't think there's anything.、Um, nothing's coming up. So, anyways, oh, episode 21 Humble and High Identity as a Hero. So, yeah, I like、um, this kind of off. I like to be humble, the general principle of being humble. Um, and God's word, God's truth. Like,、um, you know, all those superheroes, you know, they mostly wear a mask、um, to hide their identity because, like, you think that, like, personally, I know that some, even me, would think that the heroes hide so that their personal lives will be okay. But I think what You have to understand is the message. The message is what matters, not the person or the face behind it. So, like Spider Man, I love Spider Man.、Um, like, he doesn't, he doesn't boast. He doesn't say, Oh, I am Peter Parker. I am the Spider Man. I will, I,、uh, please, please worship me. No, you help because you help. That's what matters. It's the message of the hero, not the person behind it. Because you don't matter. It's just what your truth and actions, your words don't matter. It's your actions that matter. So, yeah, there's that. Let's see. So, there's that. Text, strike through. Uh. Oh, yeah, episode 23.、Um, right here. Let's, let's watch. ロナ、何をする気か知らないけど。それ以上術を構成したら潰す<笑>最後に話した時はなんて甘い男だと思ったのにもはや別人ねあいつに何が起こったのじょ冗談よクズノハ勇者とステラトリデを諦めろだったわねいいわ私は要求を飲む条件は条件なんかないわよいずれ魔王様に会ってもらいたいと思ってるのも本当そうだね考えとくよソフィアは確証だけど軍を指揮していない置いていって構わないわね
無事は保証しないけどええどんな結果でも戦場の成り行きとして受け止めるわじゃあ言っていいよあこれから勇者にちょっかいを出す気なら無駄だよ外には士気がいるそれほどバカじゃないわ失礼怖い魔人と呼ばれるのもうなずけるわ So if you so you know if you don't understand God you'll think that God and Jesus in, gen in general especially Jesus Jesus is just like oh he's loving he's loving of everyone he he'll accept you like God loves you, but he hates the sin in you. So, like, if you continue doing sin, like, if, like, and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to conquer sin on your own. God will do that for you. You just have to have faith. Like, like, he, he will definitely, he delivered me from a lot of stuff, but you know that, like, my, my test, my, my experience won't, won't, uh, I know it won't、uh, inspire you, but、uh, just know that you don't have to do it alone. Like, and if you think, if you continue in doing sin, yes, God will wipe you from everything. He will bring you down your knees. He will kill you. Like, he, like, he doesn't want to, but I know that he will. So, just like, he's still a loving God in the end. He doesn't want that to end. Like, I mean, if you read the rev, rev, like in the Revelation in the end of the days, like,、um, it's a hard thing. Like, I don't want to preach that God will destroy you because it, it, does, it does give a thing that you should fear God, which is right. But you should fear God because He loves you, He knows what's best for you. And, you know, I, if you just, just ask for His help, like,、um, yeah, just pray. Pray is so miraculous, and、uh, if you have a trouble with sin, you know, lust, uh, greed, uh, anger, just have faith in God, and He will guide you in the right steps. And I truly believe that. I know that He will because He loves you. So fear God, but don't fear Him so much that everything is like you have to do it on your own. That's not the point. God is with you, He will help you. He will overcome the sin of your being. All he wants is you to know that he is with you and that he has this ultimate love for you that's waiting. Well, yeah. But just know that God will punish you and that God is not a, like, he, he, like, he'll know. He'll know when to punish you. He'll know when you've been too arrogant and. You're too selfish. And if you keep doing that until the end of your days, well, I just know that I hope, you know, I pray that that doesn't come because I want you. I know that you can do this. I know that through God, you will be able to overcome anything from this world, from the Satan that will throw at you. So please believe. Please have faith. And、uh, I'll be with you also. In, in heaven. So there's that. Let's see, what else is there? Boop. Trust and Promises, episode 24. Okay, let's watch. それは無理だ。代わりにお前たちが守りに徹するなら、その術師、戦いの後で救ってやる。リッチのあなたがアンデッドが聖者を救うだなんて、本当にウーディを確実に救えるというの当然だ。ヒューマンの腹に穴が開いたくらいなんとでもなる。お,お姉ちゃんその言葉。信じるわおい響きいやそれが正解だなな何を根拠に
そのリッチツイーゲで知った外の御人に似てるんでねやると言ったらやるそういう連中の気配だラルバ殿必ず約束は守ってもらうわよ念のため霧も消して交渉成立そういやブープスそういや trust and promises so And、this relates back to God's love and God's truth because you can trust God. And I've been spouting blah, blah, blah. I've been spouting that for forever. But,、uh, you know, just like God's trust and promises, He, like, the trust, well, He, he, he fulfills His promise and He's trustful and they go hand in hand. So I just, I just love that the interaction because、uh, He became the, the heroine. Or, I mean, not heroin, the waifu. The, the waifu was.、Um, she, knew, she knew to trust because the, the character、um, is true and, and、uh, you know, they keep their promise. So it goes hand in hand. So you really don't have. You, that's why you can have complete trust in God.、Uh, So, yeah, human potential for God's glory.、Um, yeah, so one of the interesting things in the anime is that、um, one of the greater, greater dragons realizes that、uh, Makoto is a really interesting person because he keeps surpassing his limits. And I think we need to we need,、uh, kind of view it like that, like us humans, just like in the anime period. Really great. My number one anime currently.、Um, that human, like, Humans are like our potential for God's glory is、uh, really great. Like, um, how, how was I gonna?、Mm. Yeah, like, we like it's so amazing that、um, we are able to like surpass, I guess. Like, you think, you think this is just it for you, but through God and through His providence, that you will excel higher, you will grow. And I think that's just amazing. And I think that because we are God's people, that we can really, we really trust in the Lord. And I'm not saying if you're not a Christian, you don't have this because you do.、Um, you just, like, <sighs> I wish I can. I wish I have one of the gifts to、uh, really put, it, put that in you, but that's not me. That's God's, God's, God's work. If you're still watching, like, can you leave a comment? Like, I'm just like, please leave a comment because, like I said in the previous, if you're still watching, like, I watch my videos and it's just so embarrassing to like, see the view count up when I know that I'm the one that's watching. So, if you made it this far, can you just put a comment?、Um, I think,、um, and your comment will,、uh, will show. I believe in free speech.、Um, you can even say how,、um, how, uh, how dumb I am. I don't really mind. You can throw any insult at me.、Um, let's, let's, like, and then just to prove it, I'll, I'll show you.、Um, let's see here. My comments. Uh oh. Let's see. YouTube Studio? Yeah. Um, I think let's go to uh, defaults. Um, upload defaults, maybe. No, um, advanced settings. Yeah, see, comments on comment moderation, none. Um, yeah, see, none. So, I think you can even post links, like, so post a link if you like, if you want, you know, others or me to see it. So, I have none. So, anything, it, sh it should show.、Um, and if it doesn't show, try sorting by new. Because I, for some reason, one comment did not show in my Girls Band Cry, but I sorted it by new and it showed. So, I, I chose the default to, uh, to uh, for uh, new.、Um, so, yeah. So, if that happens again, I'll just set the default to、um, new. Um, so there's that.、Um, what else?、Um, so, yeah. And like、um, the angels, like, just know that 
like are like I want to. Mm, yeah, nothing's coming up, so I probably shouldn't say anything. Um, but yeah, just know that um, we, as a potential, as God's people, that we, like you know, we are made in the image of God, and that means a lot to God. So yeah, so episode twenty-five has a lot. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that you can trust in the Lord for the work He assigned to a girl you graciously. You don't have to like it to know it's just temporary. Um, gosh, I hope uh, I hope I'll have time. I'm not. I I didn't know this would be so long. I'm episode twenty five, right? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> に。先生が話すようになってから。そう、そうじゃなくて、魔力が漏れ出てますよ、先生。いいから手を動かせ。今は街を元通りにすることが大事だ。授業もしばらくは休みにする。そのいいこと。まさか上勤。いや、うん。そう
クズの破傷会はどこか特定の国にだけ協力する気もありませんのでご心配なくクズの波殿さすがに全て言葉通りということはないんでしょうが変わったお方なのは確かなようですねん<笑> yeah. So, what I'm trying to、uh, impart in you is that、um, we're so used to sin now that we're so used to,、um, yeah, just sin in this world that it's, it's rare for godly people to really show godliness. And godliness is true love. And I'm just, I'm just it, like, people are just so used to.、Um, Yeah, just sin in this world and corruption that it's really hard to find people. So, but I have faith. I know, I know we're gonna, I know us Christians, we're gonna rise to the occasion. So I'm not too worried about that. Like,、um, I thought, like, if I'm alive, I know that the world is not ending, to be honest. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah.、Uh, and I don't mean to boast, like, oh, I'm great. No, I just know that. Like, I have vis like, not visions, but you know, if,、uh, if God is working through you and me, and you can see the hope in God and just the miracles working through Him, then you know it's going to be okay. And like,、uh, I'm not going to, I'm running out of time, but boys change. Likewise, when you convert, you're a changed man. And it's,、uh, I, I won't be able to find it, and、I'm、I need to go fast.、Um, you just have to know that、uh, once you convert, your spiritual growth, your character will grow exponentially. And well, everyone is different, but I do believe if you, have, if, you, if you just trust in God, that you're, you will grow exponentially. Like, God wants you to grow exponentially, so have faith. And then celebrate your victories.、Um, Yeah, celebrate your victories. There's a rest. There's always a rest. You know, God created、uh, six days and then rested on the seventh. Just likewise, if you have small victories, if you complimented a person today and you never complimented, celebrate that victory a bit. Don't indulge. Don't indulge. Don't be a gluttonous and do that. But, you know, just celebrate. It, your, your work is worth celebrating because you've improved. So there's that.、Um, I'm going really fast. I'm sorry.、Um, Yeah, dance and praise for, for no one else matters but him. Like,、um, like here. It's, I have to show this. You know, the story of David and how he dances, and then his wife was like, Oh, you're being,、uh, you're being indecent. Like, if you, have a, if, you, if you ever feel God's love for you, like, celebrate, like, dance, sing. Who cares if people are watching? It, God, God is the one that loves you, not other people. I mean, you know, it, other people don't matter. God really likes it when、uh, you worship Him. And if you feel the love, even now, and you say, Praise God. Praise God out loud.、Uh, if you, you, love us, you love a worship song, raise your hands. Say, yeah, heck yeah. You know, just,、uh, just those. You know, people celebrate concerts and, you know, they scream and then they wave their hands around. Do the same for God. God, God loves that. And then don't bring shame to the name of God.、Um, yeah. So ju just don't bring shame. You're living for God. You're a representative of God and his people. So just be. Just be you, but know that you have a standard that you, as long as you follow the word, then everything is okay. And there's that. And I don't feel led to bring this,、um, expound on this one. So that'll be it. 954. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry.、Um, this is a long video. This is David Ark. Thank you for watching.